We are going to solve a weight dose problem. As we read the problem, the first piece of information that we see is the patient's weight, and it is a measurement in both pounds and ounces. Secondly, we see the recommended dose. And finally, the question. The question really guides what we want to do, and we're asked how many milligrams. So our final answer should be with a label of milligrams. We are going to start with the patient's weight. Because it is in pounds and ounces, there are two conversions to do. We'll start with the ounces. 14 ounces can be converted over to pounds. We know that there are 16 ounces to 1 pound. We'll cancel the ounces and in our calculator we'll take 14 divided by 16. We do not want to round at this point because this is not a final answer. So 0 0.875 pounds. Next, we need to take the weight in pounds and convert it to kilograms because the order or recommended dose is per kilogram. So the infant weighs a total of 7.875 pounds. And we get this number from adding the whole number of 7 pounds to the ounces converted over to pounds. We know that there are 2.2 pounds to 1 kilogram. Our labels cancel and we're ready to go to our calculator. We already have the decimal for the 14 ounces on our calculator. So I'll add in the whole number. And so now I see my starting amount of 7.875 pounds. My math shows me to divide this by 2.2. And I get a number with a long decimal. When I go to my rounding rule, I see that when I am under 10 kilograms, I should round to the nearest gram or the thousandths of a kilogram, which would have me rounding the whole way out here. And so I take this and I write down 3.580 because this 5 would round the 9 up to a 10 which would round this up to an 8. So going out to the thousandths place, I would have 3.580. We typically do not write a trailing zero. I'm going to let it here for emphasis of the rounding and because again this is not actually a final answer to the problem but a step along the way. My next step is to actually figure out the dose. I figured out the weight and so I take the recommendation of 0 0.1 milligrams per kilogram and I multiply that times the patient's weight. Kilograms will cancel. And again I go to my calculator. So I have 0.1 times 3.58 and I get my answer of 0 0.358. Now this answer has a label of milligrams and I can tell that from my work. When we're working with milligrams we'll round to the nearest tenth because that is the nearest measurable dose. So looking to round to one decimal place the five rounds that up and I give an answer of 0 0.4 4 milligrams as the recommended dose for this patient. This is how much the patient should receive. 